On February 14th, the Syrian Arab Army, SAA, ambushed an ISIS unit in the Damascus Desert, killing several terrorists. SAA troops also captured a large number of weapons and equipment, including a Conquerce anti-tank guided missile launcher, several RPG-7 launchers, several machine guns, mortars, a satellite communication system, and two vehicles. According to SAA sources, the ISIS unit was likely attempting to sneak these weapons and equipment to ISIS cells operating near the area of El Tanf. In northern Hama and southern Idlib, the SAA repelled several infiltration attempts by the Turkestan Islamic Party TIP, and Hayat Tahrir el-Sham. Both radical groups have recently expanded their influence within the Idlib demilitarized zone, which has been demilitarized only in name so far. According to local sources, the Russian military police and the Turkish armed forces started conducting joint patrols north of Manbij, on the contact line between areas controlled by Turkey-led forces and the Syrian Democratic Forces SDF. Earlier in 2019, the Russians established a field base just a few kilometers southwest of Manbij. It is interesting to note that the first patrol reportedly took place on February 14th, when Turkish, Iranian, and Russian leaders gathered in the Russian city of Sochi to hold a meeting on the situation in Syria. The sides discussed a wide range of related topics, including the withdrawal of U.S. forces, the return of refugees, the so-called Kurdish issue, the Idlib de-escalation zone, and a political settlement in post-war Syria. The sides assured a constructive format of their negotiations and reaffirmed commitment to the political solution of the conflict. However, there are some unsettled contradictions. The future of Kurdish armed groups, which are considered by Turkey as terrorist organizations, is one of the sensitive points. Ankara de facto insists that a military option has to be employed to neutralize them, while Tehran and Moscow are ready to integrate their representatives into the political format if they recognize the Damascus government. In Idlib, the situation is different. In this area, Turkey is in fact opposing military measures, which should be employed towards Hayat Tahrir el-Sham and other al-Qaeda-like terrorist groups, because this will mean de facto defeat of the so-called opposition in the area. According to the final statement of the Sochi summit, another round of talks in Syria will be held in April. If the sides find no compromise and U.S. forces do not start their withdrawal by that moment, there will be little preconditions for a further de-escalation of the conflict.